Hello traders and welcome to a new week in trading. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade and it's Monday, July 11th, 2011 and the markets come crashing down. We have the Nasdaq and Russell both down more than 2.0 to 2.2%. That is huge, ginormous. That's a big drop to the south. Dow down 1.2%, S&P 1.8% in the red. Banks down 1.8%, VIX spiking 15.4%. That is the fear indicator off the charts. Gold up, silver up, US dollar up significantly up 1.35%. Crude oil dropping 1.35%. And look at this number, gang. If you're not a day trader or intraday trader, you don't know what this means probably. But this is the trend. T-R-I-N. And this is off the charts very bearish in a huge huge way this shows a, a massive amount of declining stocks versus those advancing furthermore it has a calculation of measuring the volume flowing into advancing and declining stocks this is telling me that those stocks that were declining it happened on pretty significant volume versus the volume going into advancing stocks. So in short, what does that mean? What this means is it, it would not sh um, shock me in the slightest to see some more bearish follow through. However, with such a spike in the trend, it would not surprise me to get an early morning bounce. So early session bounce I think is in store. I think we will probably have a pretty good chance of seeing that, but all bets are off after that bounce. I think that we are in store for a lot more bearish activity, but we will play it like we see it, but here we are. We hit resistance on the daily chart. This is the S&P 500 daily, and we hit our resistance, we get a bearish, Harami, a kind of a, uh, a hanging man type formation, and then we crash lower highs, lower lows, come all the way down, 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 and I'll blow this up, and I want to show you a couple things. It's hard to see, uh, but we have the 50-day moving average and the 100-day moving average, both acting as support, along with this line coming across 1316, acting as support. We came down, touched those moving averages and that support line and bounced right back. So again, it wouldn't surprise me to see a little bounce happen early session. But if we break down below 1316, it's anybody's guess we're going to go, but definitely southbound would, um, you can safely bet on that. We have the rising 20 day coming up. I could see that acting as some area of support, but the bottom line is we still remain in this big ginormous symmetrical triangle and we could drop down here pop up and coil a bit more question is are we going to break out or will we break down and what i like to do is go to a weekly chart to see what we're seeing here what we are seeing here on the weekly chart is we came up we get this spinning top type formation we come up hit a trend line tagged it came right back down tag drop and then now, starting off the week, we have a lower high and a lower low. We're just getting started, but that looks like a pretty good start to a leg to the south. If we were to do that, that means I draw another trend line coming down. That means we did touch it, but our bodies never got up there, so it'd be relatively weak, increasing the chances of a break of the lower leg here. But we don't know that, and I'm way ahead of way ahead of things by even talking you through this but you can see the consolidation we've been in last few months last six months just huge consolidation but now we are looking to head south that's what we're seeing on the weekly chart daily it's happening as we speak so you need to be very careful out there we do have a little bit of news coming up at the end of this week we have the ppi and the cpi will help us with inflation numbers and here soon we'll have our jobless uh, claims and we'll see how last week did on the jobless claims so anyway I hope you can join us tonight we have a free online webinar and the way to join us is to go to the website free online trading education.com click on calendar and it's tonight 
If you can't make it tonight, no worries. Get registered. I'll make sure you get a recording of it. Take care and very safe trading to you.